Hey, WinTech Warriors. Welcome to WinTech Live. WinTech Live is our new weekly live training session. Each week we cover a new topic to help you on your WinTech HMI application building journey. This live session will run for around 15 minutes, and if you have any questions related to the content being discussed, please wait until after the training session, and we will address some of your questions then. Today, we will discuss how to activate, troubleshoot, and use Easy Access 2.0 for remote monitoring and control. Easy Access 2.0 is a remote access solution that provides a secure connection to your WinTech HMIs without requiring any additional hardware. And with Easy Access 2.0, you get 3 gigs of data for free monthly. Uh, multiple users can connect simultaneously, uh, and you can pass through to connected PLCs. So to download Easy Access 2.0, just head to our forum, forum.wintechusa.com, uh, sign up, confirm your email address, and then you'll be able to download Easy Access 2.0 by headed over to this software drop-down list and selecting Easy Access. And here you can scoop up the latest release. So to use Easy Access 2.0, you must create a WinCloud domain. And if you'd like to learn more about WinCloud, um, check out some of the videos on our channel where we go in depth on the subject. Okay, when it comes to activating Easy Access 2.0, um, you'll either have a pre licensed HMI or, uh, or you'll use an activation card. So, if you have a pre licensed HMI and our current pre licensed HMI offering uh, is the SVR 102 and 202 and the SVRX 822 and some older non-CMT uh, models as well. To start, LAN 1 must have internet access to activate Easy Access 2.0 on your pre-licensed HMI. You'll need the session ID and password. And an easy way to get that info is to head to your HMI's web server, which you'll take your HMI's LAN 1 port IP address, head to your browser, and just type it into the, uh, the browser bar up top. And you'll see the Easy Web web server here. You'll then be prompted to log in. And just head on down to this WinCloud tab and select Easy Access 2.0. And uh, here we have our session ID and password. This is what we need to activate Easy Access on this unit. But if you don't see the session ID and password, just click the Start button and make sure the unit is connected and, of course, has Internet access. So now that we have this info, the session ID and password, we'll head to our WinCloud domain. And again, you need to uh, create a WinCloud domain or log in. And within the domain section, you'll see this uh, Add HMI button. Selecting it will bring us to this window when we are activating Easy Access 2.0. So I'll select that. And within the Action Type drop down list, we have a few options here. Um, but for now, we'll select Add by Session ID and Password because we do have a pre licensed HMI. So, headed back to our web server, I'll grab this session ID, enter it in the session ID field, grab our password, and do the same. And I'll give our unit a, uh, a nickname. How about demo? Perfect. Hit submit when finished. And just like that, um, Easy Access has been activated and our unit, our HMI, has been added to our WinCloud domain. So if we head back to our web server, we'll see that uh, 
we can now view our domain name that we've just added it to. This unit is good to go. Okay, now let's cover how to activate Easy Access 2.0 with an activation card. For this, we'll need the HMI's hardware key and the, uh, the activation number on the card. So to get your unit's hardware key, just head to the settings within your HMI, um, enter its password, and scroll down to the Easy Access 2.0 tab. And here we can grab the hardware key. And with this information handy, we'll then head back to our WinCloud domain, again selecting the Add HMI button, and easy access, and in the action type drop down list, this time we would select use activation card. We'd then enter our hardware key here for our HMI and our activation code from the activation card. Okay, now let's cover some, uh, some error codes you may see when uh, configuring easy access 2.0. So we've got this great website here, support.ihmi.net, which gives us plenty of info on uh, WinCloud and Easy Access 2.0 dashboard. We have our error codes here. You would see, if you were having an issue, you'd see these error codes on your HMI. Um, let's just take a quick peek at some of, just a couple common error codes. The first... Error code number one. This indicates that the unit is uh, either not activated or that you need to click the detect activation button to validate the activation status. And let me just pull up this image. You can see the detect activation button right here within the Easy Access 2.0 tab on our HMI settings. All right, error codes 201 and 202. This usually indicates that the HMI doesn't have an internet connection. So the first thing you'd want to check is uh, you just want to confirm that your um, network addressing is correct. And of course that um, LAN 1 is connected to the internet. Um, if possible, select this Obtain an IP address automatically. Um, that'll use DHCP to assign your IP address, all this info automatically, and you won't have to worry about statically assigning, uh, addressing, and possibly entering something wrong. So if you can obtain an IP address automatically, I'd recommend doing so. It may reduce troubleshooting. Okay, um, let's see. Error code 202 uh, means you may have um, a network DNS error. So within your HMI's DNS address field, just uh, try 8.8.8.8. That's Google's public DNS server. Now let's take a quick peek at some less common error codes. All right, error codes 2, 205, and 208. This may indicate that the certificate on the HMI has expired. To update the certificate, uh, you can roll back the date as described in this post. You've got some instructions down here. Or you can pop open the Utility Manager, which is downloaded alongside of Easy Builder Pro. Just make sure to select the correct model within this first tab. And within the maintenance section, we've got the WinCloud Certificate Update Tool. Error code 204. Oop. There we go. So error code 204 may indicate that the HMI cannot connect due to um, firewall restriction. In this case, we recommend checking with your IT department to verify that um, you're able to access Easy Access 2.0's uh, global servers. The authentication server, account server, and one cloud server 
We have our IP addresses here. They may need to be whitelisted by your IT department. And we have the port numbers as well. In this table below, we have a couple of US VPN servers that you'll also need to access. So check with your IP department, IT department. So now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's pop open Easy Access 2.0. And to log in, you'll need the same credentials you use to log into your WinCloud domain. Once logged in, you'll be able to see the uh, activated HMIs. Uh, this is the HMI that we have just fired up and added to our WinCloud domain. And before you download your HMI project to the HMI, for the first time, head to this WinCloud tab and be sure to select the global server. Otherwise, you'll run into issues if China is selected. Right back to Easy Access 2.0. This button to the right will allow us to connect to the HMI. And now we can access the HMI using CMT Viewer remotely. So just select the CMT Bureau emblem there. And it's thinking about it. There we go. And up pops CMT Viewer. You'll then have to enter your HMI's password, which is 111111. If you haven't changed it, that's the default. And there we go. We're remotely accessing our HMI using Easy Access 2.0. Now, I also have a non-CMT series HMI located in, oh, no, where is it at? Detroit, Michigan, and it's online. Now, we can't use CMT Viewer to access it through Easy Access 2.0. We have to use VNC. So I'm clicking the button to the right, connecting to the HMI. I'll then select the VNC icon here, enter the Units VNC password, oh, which can be configured within the HMI itself in the settings. And there we have it. For we are remotely accessing our non CMT series HMI using VNC. We also have the ability to remotely download a project to the HMI. There's a couple methods to do this. Um, just select the HMI on the left, scroll down here, and you select this PC to HMI button, and we will be able to download a fresh project to it. Another option is to scroll up top. We're going to take this IP address, copy it, head to Easy Builder Pro, select the download. PC to HMI option, which is in the project tab. And on the following uh, window, select IP and then enter the HMI IP address we've just copied. I'm going to deselect this just uh, so it downloads a little quicker for this demonstration and then hit download. And just like that, we have downloaded a uh, new project file to our HMI remotely. All right, so you're now prepared to start building your application with an Easy Builder Pro. I'll now take a few minutes to answer some questions related to the information we've just covered. If you have a question that's not related to the topics discussed, please check out our forum. There's plenty of staff written technical tutorials. There's always something in the works. If you have a question, it's possible that it's already been asked and answered by either us here at WinTech USA or another forum user. Also, check out the content on our YouTube channel. A lot of great stuff there.